Hello there, this is Dana Arcuri, author, speaker, survivor, advocate, and certified trauma recovery coach from DanaArcuri.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope everyone's doing great. Before I get into the topic today, which is toxic family enmeshment, eight signs you need to break free, I have an exciting announcement to make first. So for the rest of the month in May 2022, I am having a mega sale on my one month package of certified trauma recovery coaching. You will receive four one hour coaching sessions with me in this special deal where you save $164. Check it out. Go to my website, sign up today. And now let's get started with the topic on toxic family enmeshment and signs you need to break free. So if you were raised in an abusive, dysfunctional family unit, you may suffer a toxic family enmeshment. Typically, these are unhealthy attachments to your parents, siblings, and other relatives. So what is a toxic family enmeshment? According to psychcentral.com, they say, enmeshment describes family relationships that lack boundaries, such that roles of expectations are confused. Parents are overly and inappropriately reliant on their children for support. Children are not allowed to become emotionally independent or separate from their parents and or families. Family members are emotionally fused together in an unhealthy way. And so if you were raised in a very unhealthy family system, this video is for you. And if you weren't, Consider yourself blessed if you were raised in a healthy family. Consider this a blessing because not all of us can say that we come from a healthy, loving, caring, nurturing family unit. So if we want to get into the toxic family enmeshment, we can simplify it by stating that the young child and the grown adult child is coerced into serving the psychological needs of their parents and or siblings. To help mom stop crying when she has depression, to help dad who's in a bad mood, to rescue their parent or sibling who's on a drinking spree or who have ongoing hardships and obstacles. Inevitably, the parent and siblings become unhappy because their problems are adult problems and it can only be truly healed by taking responsibility for their own lives, actions, including their own trauma wounds. So typically, this is considered intergenerational trauma. So intergenerational trauma is when from generation to generation, there is abuse and very unhealthy toxic enmeshment and very unhealthy dynamics. And what happens is intergenerational trauma impacts many, many, many lives. According to statistics, worldwide, 70% of our worldwide population have suffered at least one traumatic event. So if it happened in your home and if it happened in your childhood, good chance today as an adult, you are still dealing with unhealed trauma, or you might be on your healing journey. So let's talk about the eight signs of deeply ingrained toxic enmeshment and signs that you need to break free. Number one, your parents and or siblings are overly involved in your life. Their lives center around yours and they invade in your personal space. So it could be that they're very controlling, they're trying to overpower you, they're gaslighting you, they're manipulating you, uh, they may be creating a lot of drama and trauma in your adult life. Number two is a lack of healthy 
family gatherings, especially on holidays, birthdays, graduations, weddings, funerals, and other special occasions. For unknown reasons, it seems like the toxic family unit always has a lot of drama, a lot of dysfunction happening, especially on special events. Number three, you may feel responsible for your parents and or siblings happiness and well-being maybe your toxic narcissistic mother or father or siblings have medical problems maybe they have mental health problems maybe they have financial problems maybe they have a lot going on in their lives especially in their love lives and they always come to you crying woe is me and they play the victim card so your relationships with your family members could be codependent and we must understand you are not responsible nor accountable for your family members. They need to take accountability for their own words, lives, behaviors, and actions. So number four, another reason why you might need to break free from the toxic family enmeshment is because your parents and siblings self-worth is hinged on your success and accomplishments. And oftentimes this is more so what's going on with the abusive parents. They seek their adult children to make them feel like they're a better parent. And they thrive on when you have success and when you're accomplished and when you have like really great things going on in your life. And they'll brag about it and praise you when you're not with them and yet when you are present with them they will rain on your parade they are actually deep down jealous of you because you are so accomplished and happy and living a productive successful life next is number five your parents and siblings lack clear healthy boundaries they habitually disrespect you your family, your children. It could be your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. They basically just disrespect you and your clear boundaries. Number six, your parent and or siblings constantly criticize you, ostracize you, and harshly judge you. According to them, you are never enough. They accuse you of being the problem in your dysfunctional family unit. And that is how family scapegoating begins. So another word for this, family scapegoating. Raise your hand if you're the black sheep of the family or the family scapegoat. Next is number seven. You are expected to conform to the toxic family's silent code. Shh. Don't tell family secrets. Oh, they'll come after you. They'll blow up on you. They'll attack you, maybe even violently assault you if you dare share what takes place in the family unit. And so to keep family secrets, especially about child neglect and abuse, narcissistic abuse, sibling abuse, sexual assaults, and domestic violence within your unhealthy family system. And so your family basically has this unspoken code and they don't want you to talk about what's going on. They want you to pretend that everything is fine. And oftentimes when you go to family functions, it's like there's a big elephant in the room and everyone's pretending that everything's okay when in reality that's the furthest from the truth and number eight guilt and shame are used to maintain the status quo i can only imagine that you can probably shake your head and say oh yeah i get that i'm experiencing that in my toxic family unit and so your parents and siblings dump toxic shame and blame onto you. Today, return the toxic shame to the perpetrators where it belongs because it is not your fault if you were abused, if you were hurt, and it's not your fault that you were born into this toxic enmeshment. Next is that you are not responsible for your family of origin. You are not responsible for your parents and for your siblings and for their families. Today, reclaim your personal power and learn to set healthy boundaries. And then we're going to end on this note.
and this is really important and it needs to be stated, in some cases where family enmeshment involves domestic violence, various types of abuse, and clear indications that you are not safe. You might not be safe psychologically, emotionally, physically, sexually, financially, spiritually, and on and on it goes. At the bottom line of family enmeshment is there's a lack of safety. And so you may fear for your life. You may fear for the future. And if this is the case, then it may be necessary for you to cut the ties to your toxic family. Of course, we can understand this is called family estrangement. Another name is called no contact. You may wanna check out some of my videos on that. I'm not stating that it's easy because it is not easy to be estranged from your family members. But in some cases, it is the only solution, especially if there are violent people in your family an ongoing abuse that does not stop. And so do what you need to do to take care of you and start your healing journey. So share with me, do you have a toxic family enmeshment? Have you suffered child abuse, adult abuse, narcissistic parents or siblings? Are you the black sheep in the family or the family scapegoat? If so, please share in the comments down below like this video, subscribe to my channel. And once again, if you'd like to jump on board and get your wonderful discount this month of May for Certified Trauma Recovery Coaching, you can visit me and sign up at DanaArcuri.com. Thank you and have a beautiful day.